Hey everyone, I'm Jess. If you're new here, I'm a mommy vlogger. I like to vlog about being a blended family, postpartum care, and taking care of my two kiddos. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions down in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my blended family Q&A, and it's also a day in the life, so stick around to the end. I currently have Ali asleep upstairs because he woke up pretty early this morning. I took a shower and after I got out of the shower, I seen that his blanket was like covering his face and I still get paranoid even though he's past like the SIDS stage. So I went in there and his door creaked and it woke him up. So it's like nine o'clock and he's already down for a nap. So I am going to do the blended family questions real quick. I only got a couple because I think I did a pretty good job like thoroughly talking about <laughs> blended families in that vlog which I'll leave down below but yeah let's get to this okay so one of the questions was directed towards Lily and Lily comes today at five o'clock so I will have her answer that later on today one of the question is how do you all handle holidays with Lily with each parent so we have a court order we went to court september 2018 it was the year before ollie was born so every friday she switches houses if she's at her dad's on monday she comes here on monday she comes here between three and seven and then if she's at with me it switches and she'll go to her dad's on mondays at from three to seven for like a dinner and then on holidays if a holiday falls on one of these days on like a monday or something it completely cancels out like the normal order holidays go above the normal order so christmas we get every other year so someone will get her the 24th to the 25th and the other person will get her to the 25th to the 26th we switch at three o'clock so if i have her i actually had her last year for christmas so her dad will get her this year even years he gets her he'll get her christmas eve it was if it's my week he'll get her christmas eve at like 10 o'clock i think until christmas day at three and then i'll get her three christmas day until seven o'clock the next day so that's how that works new year's eve isn't really on there we don't care about that easter is every other year so if he gets christmas i get easter this year so i kind of messed that up i didn't realize that easter was part of it because i don't make a big deal about easter so she was supposed to be here for Easter it's usually 10 to 7 is like the holiday schedule I get her every Mother's Day he gets her every Father's Day so Memorial on Labor Day he had her Labor Day so Labor Day was on a or Memorial Day was on a Monday so that canceled out our money Monday dinner he gets her Memorial Day I get her Labor Day Halloween doesn't matter Thanksgiving is the opposite year of Christmas so if he gets her Christmas I get her Thanksgiving so it's kind of like that and again it's always 10 to 7 so she'll come here at 10 leave at 7 or if I have her he'll come pick her up at 10 and she'll come back at 7 so that's kind of how it works um, on her birthday if her birthday falls on a weekday then her dad would get her a couple hours on her birthday if her birthday falls on a saturday he would get her the whole sunday after that it's pretty meticulous like you really have to pay attention to the court order to know which days are switched or not and to be honest it's kind of just me and him pay attention to it more than anybody else for vacations we have a deadline of may 1st if he doesn't give me his vacations on may 1st he can't take any if i don't give him my vacations on may 1st he can't take any but here's the issue we can only take vacations on our weeks <laughs> it's so stupid so if i have something going on on his week i cannot take lily lily is just not allowed to go <laughs> Uh, last year we had this issue because I wanted to go up the mountains and the West End Fair happened to be on his week and I couldn't take her on vacation so she missed it. That's basically like the issue with this court order. We can't take vacations when it's somebody else's week but it's not even a vacation because it's my week to begin with. One of the other questions is 
how do we communicate how do we deal with each other um <laughs> lily's dad and i don't talk unless it comes to lily i don't care what he does he doesn't care what i do actually he's very up my ass but i don't pay attention to him i have him blocked on every social media i don't interact with him uh we don't do family things together it's him and then it's me like we don't do none of that so if you don't if you don't know my background with her dad i have a whole youtube video about it i will link it down below he pretty much lost all of my trust and since then he's been very spiteful and he's very He's just not a good person, so I don't want to deal with that. And he's always, like, trying to one-up me, and that bothers me. Like, live your own life. You don't have to do it in spite of me. Live your life, and I'll live mine. I don't care if you move on. You shouldn't care if I move on. I don't care if you're having more kids. Don't care if I have more kids. It's just annoying that he tries to one-up me with everything. It's, like, weird. Okay. But we don't get along whatsoever. He's, like... An impulsive liar and every time Lily comes here I have to like bite my tongue because he constantly lies to her and I just have to like shut my mouth <laughs> and take it uh, so that's another thing that really bothers me I don't talk to him because he lies and I don't feel like dealing with like the stress and everything that comes along with him so Lily has her interactions with her dad and that has nothing to do with me when it comes to Lily schooling clothes any of that I text him and let him know other than that we don't talk I also got a question about if we get child support no I don't pay child support and he doesn't pay child support he we have 50 50 custody so I mean if you have any more questions about being in a blended family, if you're not understanding or if you're in one and you need help with anything, please leave them in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment and I would love to interact with you guys more about your family. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Smile! Ah! Cheese! Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground went to the bank we're back now i am so wetting i'm sorry if you hear the air conditioner running it's like you all right it's like 85 degrees out it's way too hot in philly i don't have central air so i'm sorry if that bothers you we are back now like i said i had to change my outfit i was sweating so bad i had to put shorts on also, don't mind the size of these shorts. I got them in an extra large just because I thought these shorts ran small and they don't. So now they're just way too big on me. Oh well. Uh, all the other shirts I have are from like pre-pregnancy and they're just way too small. So I have to wait for the rest of them to come in. 
Thanks. Are you want you want to read? What's can you point to the bear? Where's the bear? Bear, good job. Good job. That's one of his new skills. He can point to things. Let me see. Ooh, there's a rain going down. Good job. Where's the spider? Good job. Where's the pig? Can you point to the pig? Yep. Go ahead, do it. Good job. Piggy, yeah. So he's starting to say animal sounds. He's starting to point to items when I say, where is this? And he points to it. When I tell him to bring something that, like if I say bring, let me see your truck. He'll bring his truck over to me or we should read a book, he'll bring the book over. And I think that's so cool because usually he doesn't do that. He doesn't understand what I'm saying. Uh, but now he's understanding and he's actually like, I guess replying to me. Another new thing that he has learned is to put his cups in the sink, which he's never done before. And that's something that I always do. As soon as he's done with something, I put it straight into the sink because I don't want it on the floor. And now he does that when he's finished his food or his cup, he puts it straight into the sink. And I think that's so smart that he's picked up on something that I do regularly. He's ready for lunch, so right now he's chewing on a mango slice. Is that good? Mmm. I got cantaloupe and pineapple applesauce, and then peanut butter and jelly, and a side of milk. Sorry again about the air conditioner. I'm standing right in front of it. It's in the back of my house. I I haven't eaten anything other than a bowl of oatmeal today, so I'm going to get my lunch real quick sit down and hang out with Ollie and then I don't know what to plan for the rest of the day. Anthony's supposed to be coming home around 1ish. It's already 12:40, so he should be coming home very soon. Okay, so I just did the dishes and cleaned up. Ollie pretty much didn't eat anything that I gave him other than his mango and some ham that I gave him on the side. Anthony's now home, so mama's off duty. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Anthony's home, and I wanted to show you guys his new haircut because I <laughs> buzzed his head yesterday. Anthony, come show him. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Either way, they're going to see it. Well, they can't show them to me. No. I don't feel like undoing this tripod right now. Come on, buddy, let's go. Show you guys Anthony's buzzed head. Ready, 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 ready. Whoa, bam! <laughs> he looks so weird. You I know. All right, so I gave him my haircut. I did the best I could. I don't have scissors to do the top of his hair like he usually does, so we basically just shaved it all off. Excuse me! Stop it! Buddy. Guitar. Sit. Sit down. What? Good job. Put it in a, put it in a teddy bear or a bedpan or whatever, and Jimmy, just as easily bring seven 
I guess you're skeptical, right? Can I call you Rick? Hey, buddy, here's the thing you need to know is that Joe only survives if I do. Okay. Letting him live his best life, throwing chicken nuggets and fries around. Is it good? Yeah, buddy, let me see. Is it good? As you can tell, Ollie is now awake from his nap. We've kind of been hanging out all day. We had McDonald's for dinner, as you've just seen. We're watching Vampire Diaries. Anthony went to go pick up Lily. And when she gets here, I'll ask her the question, but I'm not sure how she's gonna be feeling because she's coming back from her dad's. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a week because it was Memorial Day and it was his week. So I haven't seen her. I don't know how she's gonna be feeling. Uh, but we'll see how she'll answer the question. So Lily's here. Anthony's back. Ollie's still a mess. So how is Lily dealing with everything going on? Meaning you're switching to your dad's house. Anthony being your stepdad to be. Why does everyone ask this question? Like so basically, Lily just doesn't know how she feels about being with her mom or her dad and the families that have started separately. So that's all we're getting out of Lily. I don't know. That's the feeling of a 10 year old. I used to think I had plenty of dreams. Ollie is now upstairs with Anthony. He's taking a bath. Lily is down here playing with her slime. I made a huge mess with the slime right here on the floor, all over. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and show you guys my nightly uh, cleanup and then uh, we're gonna relax for the rest of the night, so. cleaning as you guys seen I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section what your favorite part of the video was thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a new video bye guys